Welcome to the CA Unified Infrastructure Management Probe Deployment with Admin Console video. In this video, I will show you how to deploy a probe using the Admin Console interface. I will download and then install a probe package on a robot. In this scenario, I want to use the AWS probe because I want to eventually monitor the performance of various Amazon Web Services. Right now, this probe is not in my local archive. I will resolve this issue by using Admin Console to download the probe to the local archive and then install a probe package on a robot. In this video, I demonstrate how to use Admin Console to deploy a specific probe, but be aware that many probes have different requirements that must be met to work properly. Before you attempt to deploy any probe, always review the probe release notes. The release notes contain important information about probe-specific hardware and software requirements, as well as any special installation instructions. For example, the release notes for the AWS probe do not have any specific requirements on where to install the probe, but they do have the prerequisite that you must have an Amazon Web Services user account with valid user credentials and EC2 administrative rights for the probe to collect data. I'm going to demonstrate how to install version 4.12 of the AWS probe. Here is the Admin Console interface for my CA Unified Infrastructure Management environment. I need to go to the local archive and verify that this version of the probe does not exist. Click Archive. Here you can see that there is no version 4.12 of the AWS probe. I must download the probe from the Web Archive. Click Web Archive. Depending on your browser configuration, you might or might not see a login prompt at this point. Enter your credentials for the probe archive if necessary. I select the probe that I need, and then select Download to add the probe to the local archive. Select Yes to confirm, and the download starts. I now want to go to the local archive and view my download status. It can take a few seconds for the probe to download. Once the download is complete, you can see the probe in the local archive. I would also like to mention here that you would be able to tell if you did not have a license for a probe at this point in the deployment. You would see a red key icon if a license was not available. If this ever occurs, you need to contact CA support and work with the product licensing team. Since I have a license, I can continue with this deployment. I must now install my probe on a robot. To do this, I select the probe and then locate the appropriate robot. In this example, I want to deploy the probe on a robot for my secondary hub. I select the robot and then click Deploy. Select Yes to confirm the install. I now click Distribution Activity so I can check the progress of the deployment. It takes a few seconds for the distribution to complete. Once the process is complete, you can see if the probe was successfully installed. This installation was successful. Notice that the icon is green and there is a status of finished. If this process ever fails, the icon will turn red with a failure status message. If this ever occurs, look in the log file for the Automated Deployment Engine probe for information about the cause of the failure. For example, the installation might have failed due to not meeting all of the required probe prerequisites. I can now return to my infrastructure view. I click my robot to view the list of installed probes. Here you can see my AWS probe. The next step in this process is to go to the probe configuration GUI. After you install a probe, monitoring probes in particular, there is some additional required configuration. You must configure the probe to connect to the appropriate monitoring target. Click the arrow next to the probe name. The probe menu appears. Select Configure. This option launches the probe configuration GUI. The GUI that you see here is specific to the AWS probe. Every probe has its own unique configuration options. For information about the configuration options and requirements for your probe, click the Help button. For additional information about a specific probe or probe release notes, refer to the documentation on the CA DocOps platform. Or visit the CA UAM community to join in the discussion. The links can be found in the YouTube description located below this video.